I think every day we spend our time doing a few things. Tell me what you spend your day doing. Just on average, what do you do all day? Shout it out to me. Meetings, email, okay. I, I, uh, I said I'll talk to about 100,000 people this year, right? about 20 countries. No matter where I go, what country, what age level, what industry, I ask that same question to people. What do you spend your day doing? First things out of everyone's mouth, meetings and emails. Meetings and emails, usually low value tasks. So how can we actually create an environment where people are really thinking or creating an environment to think? Well, usually what's happening when we get people together, they're doing one of three things. And again, this came out of um, some Center for Creativity research. I'm curious which one of these three things you are doing right now as we're sitting together. 18% of you right now are listening to what I'm saying. Raise your hands for me. You guys are liars. <laughs> I love it. I love it. OK. 25% of you are having an unrelated thought or a sexual fantasy right now. <laughs> Raise your, nice, nice. Always the guys in the front row, swear to God. All right, 57% of you are doing something called on-demand thinking, right? In and out thinking. You're thinking about that email, I got that other note I gotta write, I got that meeting later, oh my gosh. She's talking, she's talking, she's boring, she's boring, sexual fantasy. You engage, right? And then she's boring again. This is what happens every day. So for us to really embrace change, you've got to have things that are simple. And that's what we'll talk about at the end here, a few tools to be, have things that are simple and on demand. Because the reality is, those meetings and emails right now are not going away. How do we operate when you need them, when you're finally engaged right up here? 